Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna go over the three simple steps of how to get your camper level and stabilized at the campsite. And the biggest annoyance with your RV not being perfectly level is that your cabinet doors and your refrigerator doors are gonna continue to open or close. Now a few of the things that you're gonna need to get the job done is either boards or leveling blocks or a combination of both, a jack stand, a bubble level or a carpenter's level, and some wheel chocks. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is level your camper from side to side while it's still connected to your tow vehicle. Um, you can see here, we are a little bit out of level, so our camper needs to come up on the passenger side just a little bit. The best way to tell is either to use, you know, the level on your, the bubble level on your camper if you have one on the front and the side. Um, or like us, you just pick something that you know is level, um, such as our bumper here. We know it's attached to our frame, so we know it's level. You know, just lift up on the one side. If you have a gap, the side with the gap is the side you're gonna have to add blocks to. Now we'll place our blocks in front of our tires. You'll need to choose the right amount of blocks in order to get your camper level from side to side. And we'll pull up onto our blocks and we can see our camper is level from side to side. Now that we've got our trailer level from side to side, we can chalk the wheels and level it from front to back. Now when chalking a wheel that is on top of leveling blocks, um, you're gonna wanna use some larger rubber chocks like this. Um, the smaller plastic ones are not gonna work well with these blocks in the way, but if you have the larger ones, they fit right up in there and you can lock them in place. If you have another set, of just the uh, plain plastic ones, you can use those on your other set of tires. Now when putting your tongue jack down, you wanna have some type of larger footprint underneath it. Um, that's when our jack stand comes in handy or we need to put a pad underneath. And the reason for it is the round metal foot is just not enough surface area um, to be able to give you a nice sturdy base when putting your jack down. To level our trailer from front to back, we just need to use the tongue jack at the front of the trailer and lift up or drop down in order to get our right height. In our case, we're gonna have to lift the front end up in order to get the floor of our trailer level. Perfect. And the last thing we need to do is put down our stabilizers. Now, a very important thing to remember here is that your stabilizers are just meant to have good pressure on the ground. They are not designed to lift. That looks good. Well guys, hopefully this information helped you to get your travel trailer nice and level. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.